Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about monitoring resources in Azure. The first one are called metrics, which are enabled by default. So let me give a demo of that. So this is my resource group uh, in which I have different resources. This is a VM which I already created. So if I go there, so far this is a newly built VM. I haven't done anything. So by default, it collect, it's collecting some health and performance data. So this is uh, what you see the CPU network disk operations. We can go under monitoring path and go to metrics. Here also we can see these metrics. We can add other charts. So this just gives you a visibility in your resource health and performance and uh, these are enabled by default. You don't have to do anything and they are collected at every one minute interval. So different resources will have different kind of metrics. For a network card, it will have maybe network in out. For a disk storage, it will have a read write metric. So this is a disk and it will have different metrics like disk bytes per second, disk operations per second. Different metrics have a different retention period. So we won't go into much detail as these are very basic ones. The next one are Azure Diagnostic Extension. So these are enabled uh, to collect the data on your cloud services, web worker roles, uh, virtual machines, virtual machine scale set, and service fabric. So we will do a small demo of this. I'm going to open my VM here and go to my diagnostic settings. From here, uh, we can enable them. So let me to enable guest level monitoring it will take some time for it to get enabled this azure diagnostic extension have been available to us uh, since 2010 and we can collect application logs uh, windows event logs is logs uh, .NET event source logs crash dumps it can collect uh, custom error logs and also information about azure diagnostic extension itself it can collect and the data is uh, saved into storage account. We can also send it to application insights or event hubs. Now the diagnostic settings have been enabled. And if we go to the extensions of the VM, we'll see that uh, it has installed Microsoft Insight VM diagnostic settings. We'll go back to diagnostic settings and see what all options we have here. The first tab is uh, performance counter. From here, uh, we can see what performance counters it is collecting. So the sample rate is 60 second, which is uh, one minute. The next tab is the logs one. So here we can define the logs which we want to collect. We can define application logs as well. We can define IAS logs, event tracing for Windows. The next tab would be the crash dumps. So by default, it is disabled. We can enable it and we can specify which process we want to monitor. And if any crash happens, then we can save them in a storage container. It also gives us the option whether we want to collect mini dump or full dump. The next tab is uh, syncs, wherein we can send the diagnostic data to application insights. Uh, it is a feature wherein you install a small instrumentation package in your application and you can live monitor it. So you will send your data to the application insights account. The last tab is the agent, which is for Azure Diagnostic Agent itself. So from here we can remove it. Uh, here by default this storage account it has created where it will send the data. Diagnostic infrastructure log. So this is to enable the logs for this particular agent itself. So it is also enabled by default. So this Azure Diagnostic Agent uh, only supports uh, cloud VMs. It doesn't support on-premise one. The next agent we are going to talk about is uh, called Log Analytics Agent. Uh, previously, it was known as Microsoft Monitoring Agent or OMX Linux Agent. So this agent can collect event logs, uh, syslogs, performance logs, IAS logs, uh, custom logs, but it cannot do crash terms. It can monitor on-premise machines as well. One of the benefit of uh, log analytics agent is that it can 
monitor on-premise machine as well so in that case you install the agent on on-premise machines and they connect on port 443 to the azure cloud to send their log you can also have a log analytics gateway in your on-prem so all the on-prem machines connect to that gateway and that gateway only connects on port 443 to the azure cloud the windows agent which you install on the vms or on your on-prem machine they can report their data to multiple uh, workspaces but the linux agent can only report it to one workspace so now let's dive into it and see how we would enable log analytics agent so this is my resource group first of all i will create a log analytics workspace create i will name it log analytics one 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 resource group 2 is fine australia central is fine click on ok ok it says the workspace name is already in use so now it should be fine deployment has succeeded now so let's go to my log analytics workspace here we have it I will go to workspace data sources go to virtual machines and it shows me my VM already there it says not connected so I'm going to click on connect and now it's connecting to my log analytics workspace if I want to connect my on-prem machine so I would have to go to advanced settings and from here uh, I can download the Windows agent for my on-prem machines and this is for Linux servers so I can download Linux agent and this way we can make our on-prem machines connect to the log analytics workspace now my virtual machine is connected to the workspace and we can go to advanced settings here we see it shows one computer connected which is Windows server we can go to data and from here we can select what all things which we want to collect we can specify the event logs so here we can specify what logs we want to collect performance counters from windows machine linux performance counters ias logs custom fields custom logs syslog we can also connect our storage account here so this is about the log analytics agent so now if I go back to my virtual machine and check the extensions there it will show me Microsoft monitoring agent is installed the next agent we are going to talk about is a dependency agent uh, which actually discovers the data about the processes running in the virtual machine and external process dependencies this dependency agent is required for service map which discovers our application components on uh, windows and linux servers and maps the communication so it will give you a map displaying how our different systems are interconnected with each other and it doesn't require any other configuration now let's go into the demo and enable service map connect to our log analytics workspace wait for it the deployment to complete while it's uh, going on the service map deployment oh, it just succeeded uh, we also need to install the dependency agent on the VM so let's connect to it I will pause the video and resume once I am connected Okay, my VM is open. Let me browse to the web page to download the dependency agent. So here I am on the web page and downloading the agent. Downloading has finished, so let us install it. Installation is now finished. 
let's go back to the Azure portal. Now we will access the service map, which would be under our log analytics workspace. It shows us the page to install the agent, uh, which we have already done. Now let's go to solutions. Click on service map. We will have to wait for some time for the data to appear here. It should show us the number of machines reporting. So using the dependency agent, uh, we can enable service map and it can also help us in Azure migration so that nothing is left behind in the Azure migration and all the dependencies have been moved. We can discover all the interdependent systems that need to migrate together. We can assess their system configuration and capacity and also identify uh, whether a running system is still serving users or is a candidate for decommissioning instead of migration using service map. And after we have uh, moved it, after we have migrated them, uh, we can check the client load here and identify to see whether the consumers are connecting to it or not. Now the dependency agent has been installed and now the service map is showing us the data here. So let's click on it. It will show us a map and interdependency between different components. So in this video, uh, we discussed about uh, metrics, the default metrics. We also talked about Azure Diagnostic Extension and how to enable them. The log analytics agent, uh, which was previously known as Microsoft Monitoring Agent, how to enable that and dependency agent and service map. I hope you liked this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.